In our first video, you saw how to copy a project from the public gallery and edit it. Now let's create a project from scratch and take a closer look at the app interface. I'll click the app switcher and choose Shape It. This will start the app with a new, empty project. In every app, commands can be accessed in one of two places. The first is in the action bar at the bottom of the screen. In Shape It, these commands let me add shapes to my project. I'll launch the Shapes command and see what happens. In this case, the command button turns blue to let me know that it's active, and a panel appears from the right. I can click on any shape in the panel, and it will be added to my project. To close the command, I can click this X. Notice that the blue color is no longer on the command. I'll click the Undo button to remove that shape, and this time try the Add button. Just as before, the button turns blue, but this time, a panel doesn't appear. That's because this command requires me to directly interact with my project area. I can click anywhere to place an object, and then continue to click on faces of the object to add to it, much like I would in Minecraft. This is a great way to quickly build interesting shapes. Be sure to check out our in-depth video for more information on this technique. The second place to access commands is from the Heads Up toolbar. To access it, I need to select something, but I can't do that if I have another command active, so I'll look at the action bar and turn off any active command by clicking on the blue button. Now I can select something, like this edge, and I'll see that the Heads Up toolbar shows me these commands. Look at the difference when I select this face. The toolbar shows me different commands because it's paying attention to what I select. To use any command, I'll just click on it. That covers the basics of using commands in apps for kids. Be sure to check out the next video to learn how to rotate, pan, and zoom your model.